All right. Hello and welcome. Beautiful St. George, Utah here today. My name is Shauna. I'm going to be guiding you through this Fit Essentials session. This is more of our intermediates level class. If you are wearing um, BFR bands, we don't have air in them yet. We're going to do our warm-up together and then we'll all add air after the warm-up before we get into our first main circuit. So with that said, on oh, the other thing we talked about with those here live, if you want to have a chair or a bench around in our first circuit after the warm-up, we'll have the option to either do a glute bridge without the bench or you can elevate your feet to get more of some hamstring activation. So if you want to have a bench or a chair nearby and otherwise, let's go ahead and come on up to standing. We're gonna do our spinal cord breathing to get started. So first thing, check in with your feet. I want you to have all 10 toes pointing forward, feet just underneath those hips. And next we're gonna come up to our midline, check in with your belly. Make sure the pelvis isn't rocked forward. So we're gonna tuck that tailbone under. And then as you breathe in, we're gonna bring our elbows back behind us, lift the chest a little bit to the sky or ceiling. And then as you're ready to exhale, we're gonna tuck the tailbone under, Start to round the spine, bow the head down towards the chest, pausing at the top of that in, uh, exhale, excuse me, and then inhale, coming back up, stacking the shoulders over the hips, trying to lengthen through your collarbones. Wonderful. Sinking forward, nice smooth exhale, keeping a nice gentle bend in the knees, and then a nice deep breath in when you're ready. Lift the chest. Lengthen through those collarbones. Try to spread the fingers as well. A couple more. Breathing out. Hips stay tucked under. Chest bows down. And gentle breath in. Fantastic. Let's take it through one more series. Exhale, smooth. Inhale, lift. Fantastic. Once you finish that last inhalation, go ahead and rest the arms down to the side. Let's readjust the feet just a little bit wider outside the hips. Midline still nice and neutral. And then we're going to go into our tree branch arms. Just flowing here with your body, building into some movement, turning through that head and neck as well. Wonderful. Go ahead and start to let those elbows bend. Lightly tap the front of the torso, back of the torso. And the goal is to time it with your exhalation. Good, get a nice warm up for our spine here to get started today. Keeping your eyes up, looking ahead, allowing that gentle turn. Take about another 20 seconds here. Never forcing anything, just kind of find that flow with the body, wonderful. Good. When you're ready, you'll start to go back to those tree branch arms. So stop with the arms, tap in the torso, and then just practice coming down slowly to a stop. Wonderful. Going to walk those feet in some good mornings next. Ribs stay down. You can either go over the shoulders or if you want to open your chest a bit more, take the hands behind the head. Long spine, sending those hips back. Draw your chin in, looking down towards the floor as you bow forward. Either to about 90 degrees until you feel a tension in your hamstrings and come up to standing, squeeze the back of your body and then nice and gentle, driving yourself forward, hips push back, squeeze the glutes and stand. Two to three more, breathing in, bowing down, breathing out, standing tall. Excellent. Champ, you can turn sideways a little bit more to that back angle. Really good. Same thing, Amy, just turn sideways. Last one. Good, Diane, chest tall, trying to keep that spine a little flatter. Looks good, Kathy, and resting there. <clears throat> Great job, folks. Hip circles next, hands on the hips. Circle through. Five, eight times or so. It doesn't need to be exact. Just loosen up that low back, loosen through the hips. And then when you're ready, start to swivel the other way. We're gonna be moving into some balance practice next. So if it helps you to stand next to a chair, Stand near the wall. Go ahead and head into position there. We're going to warm up our ankles a little bit. Coming onto one leg, draw everything up and in. And let's circle through those ankles. We're rotating your palms forward. Keep that nice broad chest position. Wonderful. And then turn the other way. Hips nice and level. Excellent. Take note of which leg you're balancing on which leg is up in between sides step your feet well outside the hips 
Rooting down, we're gonna open up our inner thighs with our Cossack stretch. So arms reach forward, keeping your feet planted, gently shift the knee wide, breathing in as you come back to center, and then same thing other side, push down into your big toe on the side that you're lunging towards. Knee stays wide, just looking to lengthen through that inner thigh. Good job. One more time each way, eyes up, arms reach out, try to keep those shoulders down, back to center and nice and smooth. Lengthen into that side lunge. <sighs> Fantastic. Inching those feet back in and back to our ankle circles, balancing on that opposite leg and coming on up. Very good. When you're ready, rotate the other way. <laughs> hey, low balance and shake it out. Nice job. All right, wrist circles. Feel free to kind of sway through the hips a bit too. And then turn them the other way. Fantastic. And then we're gonna do our inverted prayer. Back of the hands together, fingers pointing down. Draw the shoulders out of the ears as you draw the elbows down. Very good. And then our regular prayer position, bottoms of the hand or palms of the hands together, fingers up. And then we're gonna try to lift up the elbows while you keep the shoulders down. Excellent. And shake it out. All right. A little bit more balance work. Now this time we're gonna move into a quad stretch. So coming on up, shoulders back, grabbing onto the foot, staying nice and tall to start, ribs down. And anyone that wants to go deeper into that balance exercise, you can bow forward, reaching that arm straight out. Watch that the hip doesn't rotate away. So try to keep the hip on the side that you're stretching the quad down towards the floor, nice and level. Excellent. 10 more seconds. If you need to shake it out sooner, by all means. Lifting up out of that support hip and shake it out. Awesome. Let's go back to that side lunge, the Cossack stretch one more time. So walking the feet out, rooting down, arms reach wide. And see if your body wants to sink just a little bit deeper. Standing tall, grip the toes down. Feel the arch of your foot lift up as you kind of push that big toe down, just gently gripping the toes in the floor. And then one more each way. Yeah, really key, we don't want the knee to dive in. And second time, second side. Fantastic. All right, inch those feet in and then balance out that quad stretch on your second side. Ribs down, as you grab that foot. Stay tall here, working on your balance. If you feel really solid in your balance, you can add that forward reach. Back thigh comes up as my chest comes forward. Hips as level as you can. And I always find this easier in bare feet because you can grip the ground a little bit better, have a little bit more stability. Excellent. And three, two, one, everybody shake it out. All right, one more stretch, and then we're gonna add air into the bands. We're gonna do our tricep side bend and also open a bit more through our hip flexors. So let's mirror each other. Your left foot forward, right foot back, keeping your feet hip width apart. To take the balance component out of it, we're gonna shift the hip forward, and then the leg that's back should be your right leg, reaching that arm straight up into the sky. Chin in, bending that elbow, reach around. And then just depending upon your upper body mobility, if this is a tough position for you, first make sure you draw that chin in so you're not overarching that neck. And then if you wanna go deeper, add that side bend. So I'm pushing my back hip forward, try to squeeze the glute on your right hip. Breathing in, come out of it, lengthen, and then a nice gentle exhale. If you wanna come back into that side bend, chin drawn in. Good, one more time, up. Lengthen through the side. And then if you want to go deeper, you can add that rotation, turning through your torso. Take your eyes looking up past your right elbow with that chin tucked in. And shake it all out. Good job. A little sidestep arm swing in between sides. 
Excellent. All righty, same thing on your second side. So now you're gonna anchor down your right foot forward, left foot steps back, rocking back into that heel, ribs down as you raise your left arm up, chin in like you're trying to scratch your back. Good job. So make sure you get that hip shift. You want to open up those hip flexors, eyes up, and then gently bending towards your right. Oh, get a road runner in the backyard. Coming out of that stretch, back to that hip shift, eyes up, long spine. <sighs> one more time, option to add the rotation on this one. Looking up past your left elbow with that chin in. And go ahead and release. Nice job. All right, if you're adding air, now's the time. If you don't have air or you don't have bands, you don't want to use air today, feel free to do a little bit of some side stretching. You can also do some behind the back opening. Coming up in this next series and our first circuit today we're going to be doing a little three circuit three exercise circuit Let's see if i can talk and add air at the same time we're going to start with an overhead press our rep count is recommended as eight per arm we're going to do a single arm overhead press then we're going to do a set of 10 again recommended of either a standing lateral raise or a bent over raise and then our last exercise recommended for 12 reps, lying on your back for either a standard blue bridge, or as I talked about in the beginning and in our little community time, if you wanna elevate your feet, you can turn it into a hamstring curl. So again, our rep count recommended reps is eight on the overhead, 10 on that lateral raise and 12 on the bridge. We're gonna take about six minutes to cycle. You can either move with me or if you need to move a little bit slower, if you wanna move a little bit faster, you're welcome to move through at your own tempo. All righty. So once you have your air in, you're using air, go ahead and find a weight you'd want to start with, or you can make a fist. So on our lateral raise on the first round, I'm gonna go without any weight, up to you. If you wanna hold some light weights, I'm just gonna be using weight on the overhead press. All right, looks like everybody's pretty much ready. So I recommend starting your non-dominant arm and I'm gonna stagger my feet, similar to how we did that tricep side bend. So a little bit less of a stagger, feet hip width apart. And then whenever you're ready, eight is our number here. Looking to press all the way up to overhead, nice and smooth, breathing out as you push up, breathing in as you lower. I'm using my opposite hand that's not pressing overhead. I've just got it lightly resting on my stomach, helping me to count reps and talk. After eight, we'll switch sides. It also helps to kind of give some awareness in your body that you're not flaring through your ribs and leaning back as you press to overhead. Good job. So we switch sides after eight. Beautiful. Six, seven. Here's our eight, fantastic. Round one, I'm gonna show the lateral raise from standing. And the later rounds, I'll show that bent over position. So chin in, making a fist, just up and down for 10. You had nice light weights, you could do that as well. Squeezing the glutes, flexing the thighs. Good job. If you tend to get tight in your upper body and you haven't done a lot of this work, I would recommend staying unweighted today. Good job. When you finish those 10 lateral raises, we're gonna take it down for the glute bridge or the hamstring curl. So the glute bridge would just simply be feet flat on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and go right into the feet elevated, drawing my shoulders underneath, and then just beginning whenever you're ready, 12 is your number here. Always just a recommendation, breathing in as you lower, breathing out as you raise the hips up. Once you know the motion, have your head nice and neutral, chin in, kind of looking straight up at your legs, avoiding any kind of pinching sensation, both in the low back or the front of the hips. Fantastic. Good 
job. We're at about 12 reps. We're just over two minutes in. You finish that exercise. If your body's asking for anything different, if you want to do any stretching before you come back up to standing, it's an option to do that on your own. Otherwise, I'm going to come back up and go right into round two of that overhead press, starting that non-dominant arm. So again, I'm going to start. It's in your left hand, left foot back, chin in, breathe and move. Eight is the number on that overhead press. So we are only series today for reps and time and the later circuits will move together again. Just give it a little different variation, give people a chance to move a little bit more at their own speed. Switching sides after eight. You need to adjust the reps for yourself by all means. Maybe a few less, maybe a few more. Focus on that full range of motion, trying to elevate through that shoulder, pushing up nice and high. Beautiful. I'm gonna stay unweighted for those lateral raises. You can continue to stand tall. 10 was our number. If you wanna add a little bit of difficulty to it, you can come into that bed over position, similar to our good mornings. And now I'm just gonna raise my arms out to the side, chin in, squeeze to those shoulder blades. Holding nice and strong through that midline of belly. Really engage that mid back as you lift your arms up. Nice. Approximately 10 reps. And when you finish, back to the 12 reps on that glute bridge or the feet elevated on the hamstring curl. Nice job. This is the end of set two. I'm gonna take you through a third round together. Starting when you're ready, 12 reps on the back of the body. With the feet elevated, it gets a little bit more activation through the hamstring, waking up the back of the thighs. to breathe. Now with a little mini pause at the top on those later reps. Trying to wake up a bit more of the muscles in the back of the body, squeeze the glutes. Say hello, come on muscle fibers. Work for us. Good, take it through one more. Fantastic. Five minutes in. Anytime you need a drink, by all means, go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, gonna take us through our third and final set together, making our way back to that overhead press. Weight to the shoulder, stagger the foot back of the side, holding the arm, and eight was our number here. Good job. Breathing in as you lower, breathing out as you press. Switching sides when you're ready on your own. Chin in, make sure you don't have any movement through the head and neck. Ideally, the only movement's happening, elbow, arm, and shoulder blade. Slit. All righty, getting ready for that lateral raise, option of the bent over row. Those are five if you want. Chin in. So either standing tall or that forward fold, ensure that you move through the shoulder girdle and not push the head forward as you raise the arms up. Really common kind of compensation pattern. You see people try to initiate by pushing their head forward. Instead, draw the chin in. Just activate that mid back. Excellent. Roughly 10 reps here, and then we'll finish on the floor. Excellent. And onto your back for 12. Check in with your upper body as you lie back. Try to draw those shoulder blades under you so you can have a nice broad chest. And then moving through 12 times here. 
not necessarily about how high you can get your bridge, especially if you start to experience any kind of pinching in the front of the hips. Don't force through that. You can have a little lower bridge as needed. But intention is important. The more intention you give to those muscles in that back of the body, the more muscle fibers you're gonna elicit and activate. Yeah, I definitely lost my rep count. <laughs> Couple more times, everyone. Woo, will not burn. And rest. All righty, go ahead and finish the exercise you're working on. When you're ready, we're going to come onto hands and knees and do a little cat cow here as we get ready to transition movements. So nice wide handprint, hands and knees. When you're ready, we're going to breathe in as you round chin to the chest and a nice gentle exhale. Allowing the belly button to lower towards the ground, draw the shoulders down out of the ears as you lift the head. And breathing out, fantastic. So a couple more, and then we'll come into down dog to make our way back up to standing. Excellent. All right, getting ready for our second series. While I am down here, I'm gonna show you the exercises from the ground. But first we'll start standing with that torso row. When we come down to the floor, and this one's gonna be time, we'll be moving together. We're gonna to have our donkey kicks. On the donkey kicks, a really key midline neutral, so not letting that low back arch as you lift the hip. And just imagine we're trying to kick the bottom of the foot straight up into the air. We'll be working 30 seconds on each side. And then after the donkey kick, coming down to the forearms, either holding a regular plank for 30 seconds, or you can work a dumbbell, drag a dumbbell underneath your body, alternating sides, okay? And then our last slow exercise, we'll have a little stretch break into a child stretch. And we're gonna be doing this three times through. So let's grab a little drink of water. And we're gonna get started in 30 seconds with our dumbbell row. Forgot to take y'all into down dog. We'll get one later on. All righty. So on this dumbbell row, starting in 15 seconds, let's start with your left arm. You're gonna have your left foot back, right foot forward. Nice long spine. And three, two, one, here we go. So elbow nice and high up towards the ceiling. On this first round, we're gonna keep the hips and shoulders square. On rounds two and three, I'm gonna give you the option to give some rotation through the torso at the top of the movement. We're working for 30 seconds on each exercise with about a 10 second transition. Excellent, five seconds left. And pause, great job. Same thing, opposite side. So left leg forward, right foot back. And two, one, begin. Breathing in on that forward reach, breathing out as you draw that elbow up. Same thing we talked about on that lateral raise, check in with the head and neck. Make sure you aren't losing your head and chest forward. Drawing that chin back and in. Nice, good, Diane. Yep, nice and smooth. Almost there. Two, one, and rest. Great job. Set your weight aside. Keep it nearby if you're gonna use it for the plank drag through, and then making your way to hands and knees for the donkey kicks. We'll start in 10, give a little bit longer transition on this one. Position your hands right underneath those shoulders with the fingers spread as wide as you can. Belly drawn in, left leg first. Here we go, bottom of the foot towards the sky. I tend to keep my knee off the ground the whole time. Just kind of cycle it down and pump it right back up. Good, we don't wanna have any movement through the hip. I feel that hamstring start to fire. Keep breathing as you move, nice straight arms. Last one and pause. Feel free to come off the hands for a second. 
shake it out, and then we'll get ready for that right side. Place the hands back down. Two, one, on the right. Breathing out as you drive the leg up. And the key, midline strong. That chair looks like you're starting to arch just a little bit as the hip raises up. Maybe don't lift the leg quite as much. Just watch the belly doesn't drop down as you lift the leg up. There you go. Almost there. Last one. And pause. Good job. Getting into that forearm plank position. You can also come into an elevated plank if that's best for you. Palms down. And here we go. Feet a little bit wider if you're doing that drag through. So you can really stabilize through the midline. Reaching under the body and scooping that weight under. Level through the hands. If you're opting to do this drag through, I would recommend that you know you can hold like a 60 to 90 second plank before you progress the motion. Keep it moving. I got a sun glare on my clock. All right, five seconds left. Hold in strong. And two, one, everybody rest. Child stretch, toes together, knees divide. Just a short break, rocking those hips back, bowing the head down, breathe into the back. Two more breaths. Fantastic. And now we're gonna inchworm our way up, hips high, and start to walk the feet towards the hands. That's set one, we're gonna do it twice more starting here in 15 seconds with that dumbbell row. So as mentioned, if you wanna add a little bit of difficulty, as you pull the elbow up, you can rotate through the torso, peering up to the sky. That's our option to add the difficulty. All right, round two and go. You can also just keep your body nice and square. If you've had any tension in your low back recently, I don't recommend adding that rotation. The benefit of that rotation is it helps to open that rib cage a bit more. Give that nice, strong rotation through that torso. Breathing in as you reach forward, breathing out as you draw that elbow high. One more time and switch. Standing up, switching sides. Some glare is me. Two. One and go. Bring this closer. Trying to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as that shoulder tends to sneak up towards the ear. So think long neck as you're moving here. Final 10 seconds. Last one and transition. Set the weight to the side, coming down for the donkey kicks, hands and knees. Wide hand print. Remember, really key, midline neutral. Let's start with your left leg. Two, one, and begin. Pushing strong through the arms. Once you know the movement, not watch anybody on the screen, center your gaze right between the hands. 10 seconds to go. Excellent. Fire in the back of the body and rest. Quick break off those hands, shake it out. Spread the hands back out, coming back down, starting in three, Two, one, now on your right. Straight down, straight up. Slow the foot up towards the sky. 10 seconds left. Keep locking out through those arms. If you're really mobile in your elbows, make sure you're not hyperextended through the elbows. The arms just strong and straight. And rest. Good job. 
transitioning into your plank position. Option of that drag through. Palms down and begin. Once again, if you're doing the drag through, I recommend the feet a little bit wider than the hips. And have as little movement through the hips and shoulders as possible. Palm up as I reach under. Just take it across the other side. Keep squeezing those glutes and thighs. Engage that lower body. And child stretch. Nice job. Let's go to the supinated position. Little fingers together, palms up. This slightly changes the stretch on those shoulders. Good. Three big breaths here. Keep those lungs expanding. Very good. Now we're going to come on up, kicking back into the down dog position and gradually inching your way up. All right, we'll take 30 seconds before we go into our last round. If you are wearing the bands, we're at our 20 minute mark. So you can lift the air out or you can kick your bands off, whatever you prefer. And if you want to go a little heavier on this last round, we'll be starting with that torso row. 10 seconds till we start. All right, recommend starting that left arm, left foot back, and two, one, when you're ready. So either square through the torso or pivot through the torso. Either way, elbow high to the sky. It's consistent breathing. Halfway through. Awesome. That midline engaged. And switch. Same thing, second side. Stagger through the feet. And two, one, begin. That shoulder down out of the ear. And keep that yourself. Sink in with your breathing. Good. Final 10 seconds, a little less than. Two, one, and rest. Great job. Taking it back down. Donkey kicks, wide handprint, midline neutral, starting with your left leg. Three, two, one, and kick her up. Gonna move a little bit faster this time, but I don't recommend that if you were having trouble holding that midline neutral, keep your focus on the engagement. Shin drawn in, arms nice and strong. 10 seconds to go. Whew. Feeling that burn even without the band here on this last set. All the way through, strengthen the back of the body and shake it out. Good job. We'll take 10 seconds. And back into position. Now your right leg. Here we go. Well done. Sometimes we sometimes have low back pain because we don't use the muscles of our glutes. Our hamstrings get weak. And sometimes our low back takes the beating, overcompensating for the rest of the body. So we're building up the back of those legs, building up those hips. And two, one, take that short rest, coming into our final plank, option of the drag through. Palms down, and here we go. Hips nice and level. Really think about bracing into that arm. Meaning I just push down into that shoulder, holding strong. 10 seconds, everyone. Squeeze the glutes and thighs. Activate that lower body. Keep 
draw in the stomach in and two one all done there Woo! great job all righty short break here let's go ahead and come into down dog make our way back up to standing we've got some squats and some farmer's march to finish out our session so pedal out those heels walking the feet towards the hands and coming on up oh, how we doing all right it's gonna be a short finisher we're gonna do two rounds go ahead as i'm talking here let's warm up our squats a little bit so sinking back knees push wide eyes up if you feel like you can get into that full range and you want to hold weight on your squats, we're gonna be doing what's called a waiter squat today. We're gonna to hold the weight in one side of the body or on one side of the body, making sure you don't twist towards the body. We'll be working for 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other, and then we'll pick up some weights and do a little march. And we'll do that twice through. If you aren't ready to add weights, just do a regular squat, move and breathe. So let's start the weight on your right side, Sorry, your left side, elbow up and forward if you're holding the weight. And two, one, nice and smooth, reaching back. Squeeze the glutes, breathing in, breathing out. Good. Pushing that elbow up on the side that's holding the weight and keeping your eyes up and forward. And there's our 20 seconds. If you're holding a weight, switching sides. Take a short breath and two, one, second side. Non-working arm reaches straight out. Or if I'm not holding weights, I recommend reaching both arms straight out. Good, control onto the down, strong as you stand. Breathing in, breathing out. And rest, excellent job. If you want to go heaviest weights you have available, gonna hold one in each hand. And for this round, if you have uneven weights, hold the heavier weight in your left hand. Next round, we'll switch it up. And then as soon as you pick up your weights, go ahead and start the march. We go 30 seconds here, squeezing those shoulders back, rotating those palms forward. Excellent. And make sure we don't lose that forward posture. So really emphasize tall chest. Awesome. About 10 seconds left. Hips nice and level as you march. Two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, we're gonna take 15 seconds and we'll be back for round two of two on the squats. If you are holding weights, we're gonna start with it in your left arm. Set the feet. So slight toe out and two, one, begin. Breathing in, breathing out. Working on that range of motion. Eyes up, chest tall. Breathing in and out. Excellent. And there's our 20 rest. Switching arms or just taking a pause. Ready, and here we go. Last bit of squatting for the day. Good job. Excellent, great depth crew. Eyes looking forward. Woo, almost done, two, one, and pause. Awesome. Going back to your marching weights, if you had uneven weights, now the heavier ones are gonna be in your right hand. Shoulder back, chest tall. And here we go, we'll start our 30 seconds now. You can walk around your space or just march in a stationary spot. Here we go. Nice rhythm. Makes carrying grocery bags, no problem. Final 10 seconds. Those eyes up, chest forward. 
two, one, and all done. Awesome job. Set it all down, grab a drink, and let's stretch it out. We're sweaty over here. All right, we're gonna make our way down to seated. We're gonna do our seated figure four. So you wanna go into a little toe touch. Oh. Walking the feet out, coming down into a seated position. If you prefer to lie on your back for figure four, you're welcome to it. I'm gonna do the seated version today, give a little bit more opening for the chest and shoulders. So I'm gonna extend the left leg, cross the right foot over, and you're gonna inch that left foot up towards your body. Place the hands behind you, draw the shoulders back. And now the toes of the leg crossed over, engage the foot and draw the toes back towards the knee here. Very good. And you can think about pushing that knee away from you. Let's get a nice stretch on that outer hip. Move. Good choices. It doesn't have a fence here, so we're keeping a close eye. <laughs> and three, two, one. Go ahead and release that foot in between sides. Let's come in a little bit of a straddle stretch. So walking the feet nice and wide. And then we're just going to crawl the hands forward, not forcing anything, just get a nice gentle stretch. It'll typically, will be on your inner thighs and low back area. And then take about three to four nice big breaths into the back of that rib cage. Keep your lungs expanding. Nice. When you're ready, you're coming out of that forward fold. And now figure four on the opposite side, crossing that opposite foot over. Lift through the chest, draw the hands back as you inch this foot up. Job. And now remember, we're going to take the foot and toes, draw it back towards the knee on the side you're stretching. I've forgotten whether I told you the opposite side I'm doing or the same. <laughs> Pushing that knee away from you and breathing here. Give a little side to side bend through the head and neck as well. Tilting the ear towards the shoulder, trying to think about lifting the ear towards the sky on the side you're bending away from. And then a little up and down chin towards the chest. Feel the back of the neck lengthen. And then just a gentle tilt the back, looking up. One more time, chin down towards the chest. And gently tilt it up the back. Beautiful. All right, make your way out of that figure four stretch. You can sit crisscross. We're just gonna do our final breaths together. Palms together in front of the heart. Breathing in, lifting up. Breathing out, open through. Beautiful, twice more. And through the nose, elevate up out of those hips. Now, good on this last one. Let's all think about the emotion of some peace. Breathe in some peace into your inner being and send it out to the world. All right, everyone. Give yourself a round of applause. Those of you here live, if you want to do your neuro aerobics for your brain, go ahead and grab your headphones. We'll stop the recording and take those final three minutes together. Otherwise, thanks for moving with me and look forward to moving with you next time.